Hello, foodies. Today I'm coming at you guys with my buttery parmesan mashed potatoes that are to die for. And the best part is, it's pretty easy to whip up. So stay tuned for the video. All right, so here I have some red skin potatoes that I'm going to go ahead and wash. So you want to just wash that and make sure all of the dirt comes off of the potatoes. All right, then you want to examine each potato and then you want to cut off all the ugly, dense and ugly looking parts of the potatoes. You want to cut that out. Then go ahead and cut your potatoes up. I cut them, some of them in four. I cut some of them in eight, it's up to you. And just repeat the process, remove the rotten or ugly looking parts of your potatoes and you cut them up in some reasonable size cubes depending on how big the potatoes are. Then you want to place them in a pot and we are going to fill our pot up with some cold water. And then we're going to place this on the stove to boil for about 15 to 20 minutes or until our potatoes are fork tender. And once your knife can smoothly glide through your potatoes, then you know they are done. So I'm going to go ahead and drain my potatoes because they're done. Like so, they're nice and drained. And I'm going to go ahead and add about five or six minced garlic cloves, finely minced. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add one stick of butter that I chopped up and I didn't melt it beforehand because I want the butter to be nice and creamy. And I covered that so the heat from the potatoes could help the butter melt a little, right? And I'm using this fancy tool here and I'm just gonna smash the potatoes together. Listen, if you have a fork, the back of a spoon, if you have a potato masher, all these things will work, but this here works just fine, whatever you can, you know, use to smash or mash your potatoes, right? Whew, that was a lot of work. All right, so I'm gonna add some heavy cream to my potatoes now that they are the consistency that I would like. And then I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese, which is the star of the show. I'm gonna go ahead and add some Parm. And then I'm gonna add some more parm, but in a different consistency, I'm gonna add some finely grated Parmesan cheese. And then just go ahead and mix all of that together into your potatoes. And you would tell the consistency of the potatoes. If you want a little softer, you could always add more milk or heavy cream. If you like your potatoes nice and thick, then you know you look at it and see what consistency that you like. All right, then I'm gonna go ahead and add some garlic salt. I preferred flavored salt for my potatoes because you know, add a little bit of extra. Uh, and make sure you taste your potatoes because we do not want bland potatoes. Make sure you taste it and add some salt up in there, right? Mix that in. All right, so she's nice and thick with two C's, and that's how I like my mashed potatoes to be. So I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer it uh, to another bowl. You guys, you see how fast this was, how easy it was, but trust me when I tell you, 
these potatoes were so bomb. And you could add a little bit of sour cream in there too if you're feeling a little fancy. You know, being a little risky. But, um, yeah. I didn't feel like adding any of that in there. The Parmesan was the star of the show. And these potatoes were amazing. But hold on. We ain't finished yet, you know. We ain't finished yet, all you. I'm going to just smooth this out a little bit. Smooth this out a little bit. And then hold on. Hold on. You want to see what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and pour some melted butter over the top of our mashed potatoes. Just a little bit. Just a little bit of melted butter over them potatoes, you guys. And I'm going to add a little bit of parsley just to make it nice and pretty. You know, for the gram. Um, you guys follow me on Instagram because I do post uh, foodie pictures there. I will link my Instagram in the description bar. And I'm going to add a, a tablespoon of butter right at the top, you know, just to make it fancy. And you guys, there you have your mashed potatoes. I hope that you guys really do try this recipe. And if you do, let me know. And as always, I'll see you lovely people in my next video. Alita.